Pollock. I'm the course coordinator for Biology 206, Methods in Biology of Organisms. First, I would like to say hello and welcome to the course. I realize it's a little bit early to be doing this, but I know there are a number of questions and concerns about this course in particular and about fall semester more generally. Now, clearly I can't answer all of those questions, but what I can tell you is that Biology 206 is absolutely going to go ahead we're going to cover the same content that we would have in an in-person course, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently this year. What will you learn in this course? You will learn how science actually works. So what happens between a research question and a research conclusion? And we will have case studies ranging from sampling in natural ecosystems, sampling in museums, host parasite interactions, and we will glue all of these pieces together with the thing that unites much of biology and related fields which is statistics. Now, I might normally need to convince you of the value of statistics, but the news is doing that for me right now as we are bombarded with numbers and graphs and questions from our parents about log-based transformations, in my case anyway. So the benefit of this class is that you learn statistics in context with case studies rather than in a vacuum. And the other instructors, the TAs and I, are working very hard to keep and adapt this component of the class. We're working on technology and ideas for remote delivery. The Red Path Museum is, as we speak, making their collection come alive for you virtually with 3D scans of their specimens. So we'll have more details in a couple of weeks, including a syllabus, so check back then. And until then, have a great physically distanced but emotionally fulfilling summer, and I'll see you soon.